Hi guys and welcome back to Fallout 76. With flavors of mayhem behind us, it's time to move on to Key to the Past. Key to the Past is a quest line that just seems to go on forever. But let's give it a let's give it a shot. We need to head down here to Blackwater Mine. I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna take position at up at a height. I just clear it out real quick. There's some more miners in and around and whatnot, so clear them out. Whatever way you prefer to do it, I prefer to do it at height. And when you're done, just follow the waypoint into the mine itself. That's what we're going to do right now. And as soon as you come in that mine door, in here on the left, there's that terminal. So you want to access that terminal over here. No, sorry, wrong one. Over here, this one. Uh, there's a hollow tape if you want it. Otherwise, access the terminal. And as soon as you select the first option, help, the mission updates. Next, find the bandit's key fragment. All right, we need to push further into the mine. Keep following the way, uh, the way marker. <laughs> uh, keep following the compass for your waypoint. I was gonna say way marker. Um, there is a lot of mole mine, mole miners in this mine. Uh, so take it slow and steady, and work your way through the mine and up this set of stairs here. I'm, um, I'm crazy for searching around. As you can see, if you've ever watched any of my videos, you would be well aware of that anyway. Ooh, plasma grenade there. There's a, there's a nice few hollow tapes around the place here and there. Lots of terminals to read. Some really good story if you are interested in that sort of thing. We're going to work our way over to this dude here. He has the key fragment. Let's uh, grab everything else first, of course. See what we got ourselves. Electrified sword. I like and just grab that key fragment. And the mission should now update again. Go outside the mine. Okay, back the way we came. I see that the uh, mole men have respawned, or the mole miners. I don't wanna go out and get into a confrontation again. You can just push forward and stay somewhat hidden. And it'll update for you there. They sound absolutely delightful. Trappers. They're just over here, so I, I think, can go up here to the radio ray and work my way south. That's going to be my path anyway. When you get there, it is abandoned. I didn't have to fight my way here at all. It was completely empty. There's a note, as you can see, it's just up over there. I'm just going to grab this radix and grab the note. This was easy enough, unless you're over encumbered and you... You have to make your way there slowly. This is where time will add. All right, we have the update. Find the trapper's key fragment. Huh. It just keeps going. Okay, where is the trapper's key fragment? Down here. And of course, I had to run down myself because I haven't been here before. This is infested with super mutants. I'm going to take them at a distance like I always do. You take them however you like. Whatever way is fun for you. And when you're done... Keep working your way in and you'll find this dude on the floor. I got an alert here about perception, but whether you have perception or not, my perception isn't even that high. I'd imagine everyone gets this alert. Um, just follow the mission marker regardless. And you get the trapper's key fragment. And run! Ooh, I see some commotion over in Huntersville. Gotta be you, huh? Yeah. I kind of figured the mutant groups got to Walter and the trappers. Real shame. Then again... Maybe it wasn't such a bright move, sticking around when they found out the town was running up with those big dumb glutes. Why don't you go figure out what happened to the diehards next? Probably just plain starved after Margie vanished. <laughs> Bunch of useless old softies. Margie had her own room at the Sunny Top Ski Lanes. It's her last known location. See if she left anything behind. Yeah. 
Where, where, where? Okay, we're going up here now to Maggie's last known location. Or sorry, Margie. I don't know why I said Maggie. Um, just a nice little house there. Pop into the house. There's a bunch of scorched and that's about it. It's quite fun to work through actually. I just popped them in the head as I went along. Absolutely nothing to this part whatsoever. In fact, there's been nothing to most of this whatsoever. Run a distance, clear out some easy enemies or whatever. So yes, there is something difficult coming up as you can imagine. And now that's just out of the way and we next need to listen to the hollow tape. So give the hollow tape a play, have a listen. Meanwhile, the mission will update and we need to read Vincent's terminal. Vincent's terminal is it appears to be on a lower floor, but there is no actual lower floor to access. So just to save you time here by running around the building like a moron like I did, head outside and just drop down a level. Much handier. And you just need to gain access here. For me, it was just a, a mole in the way. That was it. And the terminal is here. There's also some buff out. Should you want it? I always want it. Thought I heard something. All right, so let's get on that terminal. Uh, you want to go to inbox and just read the first one. Admin password. And our mission updates once more. Get the admin password. Huh, okay. I'm betting it's not here. No, it's not here. It's up in what we're going to call the palace. Looks lovely. Let's hightail it to the palace. Now, the palace was, for me at least, and I've kind of dropped here by here twice it was abandoned so in terms of resistance externally on the grounds there was none i'm guessing that's because i've seen this event come up um every time i've well both times i've been here i'm betting that there's no resistance because of the type of location it is an event location so nonetheless we're going to make our way inside here and get to work on these scorched and then just keep pushing through the building. There's scorched. There's quite a few scorched here, but they're relatively easy to handle. Work our way into this room. And we have the palace admin password. Fantastic. We got a mission update here again. Let's wait and see what we got. Okay, it's just point. Ah, so we need to duplicate the key fragment diehard's key fragment in the same building thankfully just follow the marker through a dark room and you end up at this terminal so what you need to do here is you need to go to duplicate from archives not from hollow tape or tape like i was trying just from archives and then diehard key fragment and you're done hey i kind of lost track of you out there i was uh busy doing some stuff and by stuff Alright, and off to Bolton Greens to search for some notes. Bolton Greens is like this big house type place here. I don't know what kind of building it is. Uh, again, it's um, full of low-level Scorched, so not too bad at all in terms of um, effort to infiltrate. I kind of chilled out here for a while and let them all come out one by one and just... I find this is quite an easy way to do it. Again, I am um, when it comes to games like Fallout, I am most comfortable when I'm taking out opponents from a distance. Although every once in a while I do get bored and I do equip the shotgun and get close and personal. Alrighty. Oh, this is great. This is a great location. I still got caution up though. Why is caution up? Huh? What's that? That guy just jumped down and he impaled himself. I kid you not, look. How awesome is that? In we go. And when you're inside, just work yourself up to the second level, um, which is where I've just come up now, up the stairs. 
you can have a look around um, I think there's one or two hollow tapes around here maybe a terminal or two and when you're done through this door here actually gives you access to floor three which is where you need to be giddy up buttercup and we have a scorched level six boss let's just pop him pretty quickly does he have anything good on him I guess I'm not going to check. Huh. <laughs> oh, wow. I checked everything else but the corpse. What is wrong with me? Ooh, nice. All right. That was a nice score. I'm not taking any board games. And we'll grab... No, not yet. Take this psycho... And the canned dog food, yes, canned dog food, very important. Then we could check out the note and see where the note is going to send us next. Blah, 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 live alone cave over the other side of a mountain. So we're going to go to a cave at the other side of the mountain. And this is where I started banging my head against the wall. Because it is not, not a very friendly cave. Not at all. So, hang on, over here, I'm going to access it via the rocks. So you make your way down and around, and yes, the pointer points into the cave. The cave is where you must go. Not a fan of caves, might be when I'm level 50, not level 50 yet, so not a fan of caves. And we work our way into the cave. So yeah, I'm going to actually leave the raw footage here and we'll run through that. So hopefully there'll be a few uh, bits and bobs of learnings you can take in this. This this cave is uh, more like a labyrinth. It is crazy. And our mission marker, because I've, I've actually come in here three times, our mission marker moves. So there is no guide per se to say, go down here, go left, go right, go straight. Absolutely nothing like that whatsoever because the first time around I didn't fare so well and the second time around Well the first time around I didn't fare so well a lot of times in this cave. I'm gonna be honest. This has eaten so much of my resources um, But when I eventually got to the marker, I didn't fare so well there either and so I Had to uh, well I died and then when I came back in the marker wasn't where I remembered and so I had to go looking around the damn lab labyrinth again and I found it somewhere else. And the same thing again on the third occasion. So it's pretty much a come in and get a feel for it yourself, if that makes sense. There is no right or wrong way, but just by watching the footage here, you'll get an idea of what you're going to face. And hopefully that is some bit helpful to you, so you might get through it first time, or you might just be good at the game, which is something I won't claim to be. I enjoy the game immensely, but I won't claim to be, like, really good at it or, or something like that, so maybe a lot of you will just get through this first time regardless. So up until now, we've been facing, well, Scorched, really. It's very, very difficult to, to decide on a direction. There's no real importance to it. Just double checking. At this point, I'm actually starting to feel like maybe it wasn't this cave. Maybe there was another cave entrance. Do, do, do. Nonetheless, I figure I'm in. It's a new location. Might as well explore regardless, right? Taking down the bone chime. It's going to be sneaky, sneaky. We're going into sneaky, sneaky mood, but caution is up nonetheless you think what i have a i have a perk card that adds 20 percent sneaky sneaky here's a 22 disease and ghoul oh it's ghouls in here i was thinking oh, never mind take out this ghoul nice and quick ish there we go you got it digi it took you a while but you got it i'm gonna push on through here now so far i'm pretty sure that all routes go this way was that a mole rat or Something along those lines. If it was, we're gonna. Yes. It's a glowing mole rat. Yeah. 
So not only do I get my mole rat meat, I get my glowing mole rat meat. Score! Oh, this is the best. Now, some of you guys might be really, really good with your sense of direction. Um, I get turned around so, so, so quickly. And then I turn myself around once I'm turned around and I enter a new area and think to myself, whoa, I've already been here. And then I realize a few seconds later when I pick something up that actually I wasn't, but I'd somehow convinced myself that I was. Now I'm gonna start dropping off just a little stuff here. The picking up a lot of crap from um, disabling those noise making things, chimes, whatever. I already forget what they are, but look at that, loads of bones. Got a right arm there, got right hand, skull. Uh, 180 out of 180 is not bad, right? It's not bad at all. I'm trying to keep my AP up. Boom. There's all the cool stuff I, I dropped. It's in a little bag there, guys. So if you want to jump in and get it, it's all yours. Here's another feral ghoul. This one's a stalker. We're going to try and get a headshot here. Oh, terrible, terrible. Double terrible. We've given away our advantage. So we, we spend way more bullets than we would have liked. Way more. I I miss having like six, 700 bullets for this gun. <sighs> Down to 86. It's a damn shame. I'm like, what was this? Look at that. Ooh. Love it. Love it. And now I'm over encumbered again, but so be it. I've just turned myself around, I think. Or I've seen something that I wasn't sure about. We're going to find out soon enough. Yeah, pretty sure I've been there. Pretty sure I've been there. Is this new? Yes. It's another reason why I pick a lot of things up, especially in places like this. If I see something in a box, like a first aid kit, whether I want it or not, I pick it up. So if I run past that area again and the first aid kit's empty, I can assume, hey, it probably been here. Now, of course, it might have been empty anyway, but likely it is there was something in it. So it's just another way I managed to get around. Hearing a lot of flies there. The, they did a really, really good job on the, uh, the audio effects for the flies because I hate them. So it's about right. Doop, doop, doop. All right, this looks like I've been here before. So in retrospect, I probably would have kept going straight, straight, straight. I think I went this way as well. Yep, there's that first aid kit. I'm turning myself around here. Which is okay. Not doing too bad on shotgun either at 178. That's um, that's the dual setup I have here right now is the sniper rifle, uh, scoped rifle anyway, um, with my shotgun. So at this point in my mind, I'm like, okay, I wanna find the entrance. Because once I find the entrance, then I'm gonna know all this area because I have run around in circles. So I make an educated guess that that there is the entrance. I don't want to leave and come back and respawn everything. So, cool. I know that the left turn around from that, so there's like a thing over here, a place I can't get in. It's up really high, this here. And I know across from that, I'll try at least, but no. And I know across from that, I've gone in twice. So we know we can push here and hell will keep going straight, no harm. We might as well. We've got flies, so I assume if I see flies, I've been here, thus it's probably safe to turn on my flashlight for a few seconds. Now straight through, and I'm like, hmm, this looks different. Haven't been here. So, so far my advice to you after watching all of that would be come in, go straight and straight. <laughs> How's that? Well, you can, you can explore and get turned around if you wish. And now I hear something. This is where we get 
Engaged. I hate when there's noises like that and you just can't see them. It drives me crazy. Look. Marlurk. It's been a while. I think that's the first time I've seen a Marlurk in the game. And now this place is full of the damn things. So, what I've learned from doing all this um, is that if you have something like a machete or a blade or something like that, you will do much better damage, much faster than messing around with the weapons. That's what I found after this whole experience here. Right now, I'm going to town with my shotgun. But having done this a few times, I've... Ended up not with the not with the highest ammo count, so I had to try something new, and I did, and it worked. And we're going to get to that. Here's where I get screwed over. I think the first time taking on this little guy, I'm thinking of the right one. Maybe not. Game is very glitchy today. Just tiny little glitches here and there. We know we're coming up on that moment I'm thinking of. There's um, one of those uh, Myrlock Kings. And he catches me by surprise from behind. He's worked his way behind me while I was... See, I'd spot his name there. And I was thinking, okay, I'm gonna... Work this. And then whatever way the engagement goes... Ah, there it is. I end up with this guy, and I'm watching this guy, and I'm not seeing him, but I see him now. And he manages to slip in behind me. And every time he hits me with that damn stuff, he's draining my health. And down I go. So he's pretty strong, and I just was not equipped to deal with him at all. I went in blind. I went in absolutely blind. Shame on me, my bad. But at least you got a feel for the area. So here's what I would do. I would wear the suit of power armor I took out of storage for a start, and I would take out a blade. I've got multiple blades. I like the black diamond one that we got from um, Raider Rose. So I'm going to work with that. Combined with a few grenades here and there, if I can get him in the splash area of it, it can help. God, that noise he makes is so annoying. Every time he does it, I'm looking at my health going, oh my god. But I'm not doing too bad now in the, um, in the Raider Power Armor. If you don't have a set of Raider Power Armor, by the way, uh, check the card in the top right of the screen. Nice, fast, easy way to grab yourself a set until, I guess, you can fit into regular Power Armor, like me. And by like me, I mean I couldn't either, so I was delighted to find uh, some Raider kit. It's uh, got the chest, helmet, and left arm. Okay. So, I got my revenge. I mean, after I died... In here, you know, I had to go off and think, okay, okay, we need to, um, we need to do something about this. This, this will not do. Shotgun ammo is not great for me at the moment either. No, nothing is, nothing is great for me at the moment. Okay, so we'll keep pushing. Now, I, I'm using this, uh, waterfall as my, uh, as a way to get my bearings. Because the marker was here. The first time I made it to the marker, it was here. And now it's not. But I'm in the general area. Oh, okay, that was weird. I got hit by a trap. I guess we're still in trapper territory. And... Yes. You gotta pick a direction. Now, I got lucky that we were pretty close. I think I'm going to try out a 
missile here. It's my first time firing the uh, the missile launcher. My very first time. I've had it in storage, and uh, my storage is full, and I'm finding new and interesting ways to <laughs> empty it, including taking things out and over-encumbering myself so I can use them and decide if I like them or not. Um, I didn't like the rocket launcher. I didn't like it one bit. I also didn't like sitting here waiting for the damn thing, but anytime I've gone to rocket something in here, by the time I've switched out, it's kind of come so close to me, I figure I'm within the blast radius, so there's no point. I'm going to throw a grenade here now to try and get its attention. Maybe have it come back the way it came. That would be most useful. There it is. 14, 55. Nope, that didn't work. We're going to have to do this one manually. There we go. Fire away. Boom, that's a direct hit. So is that. And it's like two rockets halfway health on an AD. Uh, armor? No, that won't do. Shotgun out, of course, to finish up the job. <laughs> it's the reloads that are going to get you. All right. We're going to have a look up around here now. Just get my... There we go. All right, feeling better. Every time you've got a reload done, you're feeling better. Shells, however. <laughs> Look at this. There's 12. 12 shells left. Eight in the shotgun. And four standing by. Oh. I don't think I've ever had... Other than starting the game, I don't think I've ever had this few um, shotgun shells. Like, ever. Ever, 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 ever. So now it's a case of figuring out... Well, finding our way to this objective... <laughs> A look around here real quick you can imagine i'm very excited to see ammo boxes at this point in the game oh that's a tasty beverage so we're going to pick this bad boy and there we go we got six shotgun shells awesome now we're up to 18 much better i'm just gonna start grabbing everything because i'm really exhausting um resources in here i've broken i don't know how many weapons coming through i until I until I thought of picking up the power armor, um, I just kept getting myself backed into situations where, because you see, I didn't have um, I've been sparing stim packs as well, so I'd be kind of pulling up my menu trying to heal, and then I'm taking damage while I'm doing that, so I have to overheal in that capacity, and oh, I was just being so so stupid. Um, so yeah, I'd, I'd imagine most players come through here won't be as stupid as I was. But anyway, just gonna get some more chops in us there. Awesome. All right, so we came down, we checked out the left, and now we're gonna keep going straight from here. It looks pretty clear, doesn't it? I think so. Anything to our right? I hear something again. This place will drive you crazy. Oh my God, it's just a key fragment we want. Not a war. Okay, sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. We're sneaking. Hmm. Oh, yeah. There's spawn. Oh, did you see that over there? That's another damn king. It's like, Jesus, man, I don't need this. Don't let him get behind you. Grenade out, hoping to get him. Nope. I was hoping to get him in the blast radius, but nope, so we're going back to a good old brawl. Only he is not alone. Got one of these razor claws here to help him. I'm like, crap. I'm trying to angle this to get the razor claw. There we go. Now I've really got to watch my health. The last of my stim packs are going to have to be used here. It's really not a choice in the matter. Maybe there is. Cool. Have some of these 
more rat chunks. This is crazy, like. <laughs> oh, this is like, in, in a sense, this mission was I, I enjoyed it immensely. You you don't even get to see the amount of time I wasted in here, and you know the numerous times where I just drove myself down to like now. You know, if you look at my health, and I kept going stubborn and or being stubborn and kept going rather than just go and heal myself. So I've been so 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 cautious with these things now for that very reason. And I'm very, very proud that I went and I picked up my Raider armor. That's really helped me out here as well. So we're gonna have ourselves a munch here. Whew. Okay. We're working our way back to good health very slowly, but it's happening nonetheless. Whew. Just gotta figure out where we came from and where we're going. So I believe we were going this way when we, when I fired off a shot at one of the wee ones, the wee little babies, and then the king came at me. So I'm gonna keep pushing here straight again. The marker seems to be this direction. We have another ooh, trap. We have another waterfall. The marker looks to be up above me. And it's a Wendigo. I brought a fat man just for the occasion, by the way. Now I'm, I'm sure we could uh, fight it out with my, um, my sword again, with my blade. But you know, I, as I said, I emptied my stash. There's things there I wanted to check out. This was one of them. Now his markers flipped from above to right in front of me. Look at that. I love this weapon. I, I also thought it would kill him in one. There's two. He's taken two. Three. I wish I tried the sword out on him. Or the blade. That would have been fun. I didn't fare so well with the gun. But I think I would have with the blade. Same same thing with the kings. I mean, he was... Um, he didn't seem as... His defense didn't seem all that great. Um, but he's pretty strong. So, keep that in mind. There's the key fragment. And a bunch of other goodies. And other things. And an assortment of goodies. Hey, I hope you're still alive out there, wherever you are. <laughs> Else I'm talking to a corpse. I assume the gourmands just ate each other to death. I'll never ask what actually happened, though. The thought of eating another human grosses me out. Ugh. Makes me glad robots were never on their menu. So, there's one more key fragment. This one belonged to the cutthroats. David, the guy who led us, is alive. Or something like it. I saw him roaming around out there, near his favorite barbecue shack. <laughs> Turned into one of those scorched things. It breaks my heart to see him like that. He could be a real jackass, but he doesn't deserve that fate. Now I bet anything he's still got his key fragment on him. So really, he'd be doing everyone involved a huge favor by putting him out of our collective misery. <sighs> and taking the key. Kiss him goodbye for me? Uh, actually... <laughs> so next up is to kill David. We're going to do that in part yeah. two. But uh, this video has gone on quite a bit, so I will finish it up. If you found this any bit useful whatsoever, please do hit that like button and like the video. If you're not already subscribed, consider a subscription. And until next time, take it easy. All the best.